How's it going everybody? My name is Mark Santos and welcome back to another jailbreak video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my top 40 newest and best iOS 13.5 jailbreak tweaks but before we get started i have two important announcements to make the first one being that all the tweak names and sources are going to be in the description of this video and there's also stamps all over this video so if you want to skip through the video and see a specific tweak you can do that right here in the navigation bar and the second thing i want to say is that i made another video before on the top 30 jailbreak tweaks that i use on my phone so if you want to see that you can click right here I'm I'm gonna recommend you watching this video before you watch that one because on that video I talk about other stuff that you need to know before watching this one. So if you haven't watched that one, pause this video right now, click on this link, watch that video, and then come back to this one. I've been posting videos every day and putting a lot of work here into the channel, so please help me out and subscribe. And now let's get started. First tweak is called App Store Updates tab. This tweak adds an updates tab to the App Store app. You normally would have to click on your icon and then go to this page to update your apps, but now you can just click on update and it takes you to the update page right away. I actually have to update a couple of apps, so I'm just gonna do that right now. Calendar date just changes the calendar icon's title to the current month. Right here, you can see that instead of saying calendar, it actually says June. Digital battery adds a digital battery to your status bar as you can see right here on the top my phone is hundred percent charged but there's many different settings you can change and I've recently changed from half which what I was using in my last video to digital battery 13 because it has so many more options one of my favorite things are the use gestures feature that they added by default if you double tap on the battery it turns on low power battery mode so for example if I double tap the 100 it turns yellow meaning that low battery mode is on. Dock X adds these icons over here at the bottom of your keyboard that lets you select all, copy, paste, cut, undo, and redo right here on the bottom of your keyboard where it usually would be empty with nothing. And now you can actually put something here that will be useful. Earthsets lets you replace any text in your phone. So for example, I like using this to replace my followers on Instagram to 1 million. So if we go over here on my account, you can see that it shows that I have 1 million, but I actually don't have 1 million. I just set it to change how many I actually have right now to 1 million. And you can do this with anything you want, messages, posts, anything. Your imagination is the limit. Exact time, exact time mail, exact time messages, and exact time phone are four different tweets from the same developer that I decided to just pack into one. If you look up exact time, it will show up all those tweaks and you can install all of them at once by queuing them up and then installing all of them at once. And what this does is it adds exact times to every single thing on your phone. So for example, emails, phone calls, messages, and literally everything else that shows the timestamp but doesn't show you a specific times, exact time will give you the exact time of everything that happened. Facebook no ads is self-explanatory, but it just removes all the ads from Facebook. Facebook. LPM auto unlock time lets you customize the time when your phone locks when you're in low power mode. By default, it's in 30 seconds, but you can change that here with LPM auto lock time. Our next tweak is Maps Opener, and Maps Opener changes the default map on your phone from the iOS stock maps app to Google Maps. Message unread gives you the option to mark a message as unread. Messenger no ads not only removes the ads from the Messenger app from Facebook, but it also disable read receipts, typing indicator, story scene receipt, and it allows you to save friends stories, hide search bar, source row, people's tab, and many other things. You guys might have noticed this emoji right here on the status bar of my phone, but this is emoji status, and it lets you change the status bar of your phone to any emoji you would like. Instagram no ads, just remove ads from Instagram feeds and stories. No clutter lets you hide a bunch of stuff from your phone. It literally lets you hide anything you want. So for example, if I wanted to hide the dock or icon badge or hide the page dots or hide VPN or hide the battery or hide the cellular or hide anything, I can literally hide anything I want with no clutter. No notch is a better option for egg notch. That's at least what I've been hurting on Reddit. And what it does is it adds this 
black bar over here and some curves on the side of the screen to make the notch that is on newer iPhones disappear. You can disable it in certain applications, change the height, and change how much of the corner you want to be curved. But this is really for personal preference. I personally don't like to hide the notch. I find it better if I just keep this off. Notes creation date 13 adds the date and time when your notes were created and modified. Notifica changes the way your notifications look like on iOS. And this is how it looks on your lock screen. No widget footer removes the annoying text from the bottom off your widget screen. So for example, this is the before image with this text at the bottom and this is the after. Really simple tweak, but for people like me that don't like this type of stuff, you can just go ahead and remove it. Opener override links from opening any apps on your phone. So for example, if you went to YouTube on your Safari, it would automatically open it into the YouTube app if you had it installed, but with opener, it just goes in Safari. Percent notify notifies you if your phone has less than 5% or any other percentage you set over here. But it is set in default for 5% because the iPhone only notifies you when you're at 10% and I personally always forget after 10% to put my phone to charge and then when I see it, it's like at 1% and then my phone dies. So this tweak is really useful for those type of people like me that always forget to charge their phone after the 10% alert. There you go, you have another alert now for 5% and it also allows you to put alerts for your AirPods. Perfect Photos enhances the Photos app. For example, if I wanted to zoom into this picture, I can actually zoom in all the way now when before you can actually only zoom in to a certain point. Playing shows you a notification whenever a new song starts playing. Replay adds shuffle and replay buttons to your lock screen whenever a song is playing. The next tweak is shuffle and I think this is definitely a must have tweak for anyone that has jailbroken their phone and it adds to the top of your settings app these three tabs over here tweaks, apps, and system app. And it just makes your preferences app a lot more organized with all your tweaks right here. Siri light makes Siri more light and it removes the dark blur from the background of Siri. Song shares are a really nice tweak if you like sharing songs with your friends. Unfortunately, there is a bug that the developer is aware of. He made a post about it on Reddit a few days ago that he's working on this bug. It currently doesn't work with Apple Music, but it does work with any other apps on your phone. So a fix for the Apple Music not working is you copy the link and you go into notes and you paste the link. And what it does is it automatically changes music links to a song.link so when you're sharing a song with a friend it allows them to open that song in any platform that they use so there's apple music spotify youtube youtube music and all these other uh versions over here so it's much easier for you to share songs with your friends sometimes i'm sharing a song from apple music with my friend that has spotify it gets complicated so with this tweak it just changes the link right away to a song dot link and then whenever you share the song it will take you to this page where you can pick what platform you want to open the song in unfortunately this is not working correctly yet with apple music but the developer is aware of this issue and is currently working on it so let's hope that when i release this video this will be up and working with Apple Music, but for now it does work with all these other apps. So if you're a Spotify user or YouTube Music, Pandora, any of that, it works. And with Apple Music, I found that it does work if you copy and paste it into the Notes app first. Sorry, low battery is a cool tweak that you can use whenever you want to have the charger with your friends. So you can change the battery percentage of, of your phone. For example, if I put five, it would bring it down to 5% right here on the top. So I can be like, hey guys, I actually only have like 1%. Let me please have the charger. And then they will have to let you have the charger because you only have 1%. But actually, you have a hundred. The next tweak is called stop crashing please. And this is a must have tweak for anybody that has jailbreak. I don't know what it does, but it literally helps you have less crashes on your jailbroken device. I don't know how this works, but it does work. Go ahead and download this tweak right now. It's called stop crashing please. You must have this. It literally decreases the amount of crashes I had for like at least like 50%. Go download this right now. Streak notifications 
shows you how long until snapchat streak expires when you get a snapchat notification i personally don't have snapchat streaks anymore so i can't show you guys how this works but for you guys that still use streaks on snapchat i think this is gonna be a really cool tweak tiktok god is literally the best tweak for the tiktok app it removes ads it lets you download any videos without the watermark it auto scrolls to the next video it does so much if you use tiktok you need to get this app twitter no ads removes ads and there's a few other Twitter no ads removes ads and does a few other things in the Twitter app. Unlock volume 13 lets you change the volume while your phone is locked. I actually didn't know that you could not do that when your phone was locked, but when I went to try it, you actually cannot, but now with this tweak, you can. Vino simplifies how music is shown on your home screen. As you can see, it's not taking up the whole screen. It just takes up this amount of space over here whenever music is playing on your device. Volume brightness lets you change the brightness on your phone with the volume buttons. And it actually works with activators so you can set it to work with any type of actions you would like. The next tweak is called WhatsApp tab and it hides certain tabs on the WhatsApp app. So if you go into settings, you can see that you can hide status, camera, and any other things that you don't use on a WhatsApp. You up make sure you don't fall asleep after an alarm by giving you math problems after you snooze your alarm. YouTube Reborn is literally the best app for YouTube watchers on iPhone. It is literally a game changer on the YouTube app. Look at all these options, but just one thing that I would like you guys to do, if you download this app, go into video options and turn off no video ads, because if you're here on YouTube, you're here to support the creators that you watch. And if you want to support them, go ahead and turn off no video ads and then press apply to respring your device to make sure that they receive ad revenues whenever you watch their video. YouTube HD Unlocker is another YouTube app that if you don't want to download YouTube Reborn, you can download YouTube HD Locker which allows you to watch high definition videos in the YouTube app. The number is a tweak for Cydia that allows you to see how many tweaks you have installed and it's a very basic package manager for jailbroken iOS devices. So right here, as you can see, it shows you how many. So right here, as you can see, it sh so when you go into Zebra and you look into your sources in Zebra, you can see how many tweaks you have installed from that source. First, before you leave, I just wanted to ask you to subscribe to the channel. I want to see you keep coming back because I'm going to be here every day. So I really want to see you guys coming back to the channel. So please subscribe and that's it for this video. Thank you and bye.